your list is definitely wrong again. I deserve to be a little bit closer to the top. You know what? I don't know if Ron Westbrook is really an underrated player. I think people always gave him props. I thought people propped up Westbrook. Westbrook's sweet, though. I like Westbrook. He's sweet. I mean, if Brian Westbrook is underrated, it's criminal. I think in Philadelphia, he's not underappreciated. And if he's underappreciated outside of Philadelphia, it's because people didn't get to watch him play. Brian Westbrook was, was one of the great underrated players I think we've ever seen. He was a guy that really did everything. I mean, you look at the great backs that do everything, Marshall Falk comes to mind right away. You know, Brian Westbrook was, was kind of a mini version of Marshall Falk. You can't catch that little guy. Brian Westbrook got so much attention for being underrated that he started to get a lot of respect. He's like, he's not just good, he's great. Would I put him on all time top 10? No. So why does the former Philly back appear on our list of guys who don't get enough brotherly love? It just comes down to not talking about my game, letting my game speak for itself. There is your ultimate weapon. He was never a guy that beat his chest and pointed fingers or, you know, said I'm better than this guy. I mean, he was a true pro, man. He let he went out there and made people pay. He stiff arms Michael Adams in the face. For whatever reason, the total yards stat is, is not a prominent one. Brian Westbrook has now gained more yards from scrimmage in a season than any player in Eagles history. But you can't rush for 1,800 yards if you're receiving for eight or 900 yards every year. But then when you combine the yards, receiving, rushing, some pump returns. Brian Westbrook, he's going, he's gone. That's when you see the value of some of the most underrated players. When you thought about that era of the Philadelphia Eagles, first you had Jim Johnson's defense. They were definitely a defensive-minded team. Then you had Andy Reid, and Andy Reid, as everybody knows, likes to pass the ball. And then on top of that, you had Donovan McNabb, and Donovan McNabb was like a carnival show. <laughs> and then you add Terrell Owens into the mix, and those two together, they took a lot of attention off of Brian Westbrook. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but like I, I thought like Brian Mitchell did more than him. Everybody calm down. Take a deep breath. Absolutely, Brian Westbrook should be higher. I don't care what list you put out there. I love it. Harold Carmichael did more than uh, Brian Westbrook ever did. Everyone always thought that Westbrook was going to peter out after a year or two. And then it was three, and it was four, and it was five. And Westbrook is off to the races. And he stayed at the top of his game for a long period of time and was one of the underrated and undervalued weapons in the National Football League. Maybe the rest of the league and the country will wake up, but this is indeed a premier back. Like a nightmare, live from the hood, I'm right there, keeping you 
niggas came crawling, giving you white hair. Wake up before the situation get critical. Every word I spit ferocious and pivotal. Dynamite, I get loose on any kind of mic. You looking lost right now, homie, and I'm the light. Putting it down by the ton. Heavyweight champion, do it like none. With two loaded pistols and a bottle of rum. And two pretty women who just wanna have fun. Come on.